it's Cathy from Calmer Minds. So the practice that we're going to do today, we're going to have a little introduction, a little play with Warrior 3 and you're going to need a chair. So um, you could also use the wall as well actually, but if you have a chair handy, just pause the video, grab yourself a chair and then when you're ready, come back and meet me sitting in cross-legged. Okay, I'll just get my chair moved a little bit, then it's not over moving that. And then when you're ready, Come and sit with your legs crossed. So, Warrior 3, what, what a posture. Um, I, I find Warrior 3 really, really difficult, really challenging. And some days I find it a lot easier than others. Some days I find it a lot easier on one leg than the other. And it, it's not just challenging physically for me, it's challenging for me mentally as well. But the wonderful thing about it is that in that challenge you can just learn about yourself just learn where you're up to that day, where your head's at that day um, and also it just helps to teach us that you know yoga's a practice and life's a practice and we have to take things step by step and learn sometimes it's two steps backward and one step forward and I just think it's a great practice just to teach us that a little bit so we're going to have a go at Warrior 3 have a little bit of fun, not take it too seriously, just enjoy it and yeah, just enjoy so come and sit down with your legs crossed in a comfortable seated position and we're just going to start off listening to the bell, just watching your breath for a moment, getting yourselves really grounded. So come and sit cross-legged, just rest your hands where they're comfortable, either on your knees or in your lap and just close your eyes and lower your gaze as you listen to the bell. sound of the bell starts to fade away, just take a moment just to orientate yourself, just to feel yourself sitting on your mat, feel the lift of the floor, the way the floor lifts your body, a little bit of connection in your core, a little bit of length in the side of your body, nice relaxed shoulders, soft face, and just gently start to connect with your breath. Follow your breath as it travels in and out. Letting everything settle down. All the physical, all the mental, all the busyness, all the moving. Just let it settle for now and just breathe. Feel yourself really grounded, really connected with the earth below you. Feel that support, feel that, that strength, that hardness of the earth lifting. Lifting your body. Lifting your spirits. You're here on your mat. Ready to start, give a little bit of special time to yourself. Okay, so let's just do some lovely deep breaths. So nice deep breath in through your nose. And then sigh it out. And again, big breath in. Sigh it out. And one last time. Big breath in. Sigh it out. And then open your eyes and have a big, lovely stretch. Stretch your arms all the way up into the air. Stretch to the end of your fingertips. Give them a little wiggle. Stretch the side of your body. Maybe have a little bit of movement from side to side. And then bring your arms out. Bend your elbows. Bring them back a little bit. And then shake them all out. And we'll just do a little twist to start off with. So if you bring your left hand to your right knee, right hand behind, just twist your body round just gently. Just starting to waken everything up. And then swing yourself round. 
I'll twist the other way. Back to the middle, hands behind, open up your chest, lengthen the front of your body, take your gaze very slightly up, keep breathing. And then bring your arms forward and start to round yourself down. Crawl your fingers forward a little bit and just bring your body down to the ground. Keep that length again in your front body. Lengthen from the base of your spine. Maybe come down to your forearms, maybe not. And then just let your upper back and your head just rest. Another nice deep breath, connect with the earth again. And then bring yourself back up. Okay, lovely. So we're going to get hold of your foot and we're just going to move around a little bit. Just get that hip joint, that hip socket and that hip joint moving a little bit. Just moving around you in some circles, easing everything out. And then get your foot and you can either rest it on the floor or if you can, you can rest it on top of your other leg. And we're just going to massage the balls of your feet. Just get connected to the balls of your feet for when we stand up for your balances. And then come down your foot to your heel. And just give your heel a little massage. Work your way up. Give your toes a little pull. And just waking up your foot. Okay, let's swap and do the other side. So if you get hold of your other leg. And we're just going to do some little circles. Hold of your foot, just circle around, just getting into that hip joint, starting to waken it up, get it moving a little bit. And I'm going to do the same with this foot, so you can either rest it on the floor, or if you can, bring it over your right leg. And just a little massage on the balls of your feet, maybe spread them out a little bit. Bring yourself down to your heel, just kind of pummel your heel a little bit with your thumbs. Back up again and pull on your toes. Lovely. Okay, so we're going to come on to all fours now. And we're going to start off just by banging your feet on the floor to wake them up a little bit more. Oh, feels good. A little wiggle from side to side. And then just a couple of cat cows. So just start by dipping your belly to the ground, breathing in. And then pulling your belly button up and rounding a couple more times. Lovely. Then we're going to do a one-legged cat cow. So lift your right knee, bring it to your nose. From your in breath, and as you breathe out, take your heel up to the sky. And again, breathe in, knee to nose. Breathe out, heel up to the sky. One last time, breathe in, breathe out, heel up to the sky, and just do some little pulses. Just notice all those muscles at the top of your thighs waking up. Lovely. And then take your right leg and cross it over behind your left leg. Take your arms out a little bit more and just gently sit yourself back. Bring yourself back up again. Take your right leg forward into a low lunge. Bring your hands forward and then just ease into your low lunge. Just a little bit of movement, opening everything up, a lot of opening up going on here. Lovely. And then really connect this right foot with the ground. Think about all those parts of your foot that you've just massaged. Really connect that foot with the ground. And then use that lift from the ground to lift you up. Lovely. Raise your arms up into the air. Grab your left wrist with your right hand and lean over to the side. And notice your groundedness, notice your core and how it helps you balance. And then bring yourself back up again. Let your hands go and come back down to the ground. So we're going to swap and do everything on the other side now. So first of all, left knee to nose, and then take your heel up, press your heel away, little back bend, knee to nose. As you breathe in, 
in, breathe out as you take your heel up into the sky, pointing towards the ceiling. One last time, knee to nose, heel up, pointing towards the sky. Just do some little pulses, wake up all those muscles at the top of your leg and your thigh, the, front, the back, the sides. And then take that knee behind your right leg, hands further forward just a little bit, and then just sit back a little bit. Feel that stretch in your left outer hip. And bring yourself back up, take your left leg forward into your lunge, ease your body forward. And then we're just going to focus on that back leg for a little bit. We're just going to focus on lengthening, opening everything up. And that inner groin at the top of that right leg. Okay, and then your left foot, really connect it with the ground. Spread your toes, connect your toes, connect the balls of your feet, your heel. And then use that to lift you up. You're nice and long in your body, you're connected to the ground, your core's connected, everything's pulling into the midline. Raise your arms up and then grab your right wrist with your left hand and lean over to the side. Use that connection with your legs and your core to help you balance. And then bring yourself back up again. Hands down. Sit back on your heels, you might need to move back a little bit on your mat and then we're going to slither forward onto a belly. So just make a little pillow for your hands, so put one hand on top of the other and rest your head and then just rock your hips from side to side. Just really, really rock them, really loosen everything off and then just maybe give your legs a little bang and then we're going to lift our left leg, we're going to keep our toes pointed away and we're going to really think like we did before, we're going to really think about those muscles at the top of our left thigh and our glutes as well, doing all the lifting. And then I want you to push your heel away, toes to the ground or maybe even pointing slightly back towards you and then toes away. So heel away, toes away, so we're flexing and pointing a foot. And we can even do some little ankle circles one way, little ankle circles the other, and then lower that leg. Okay, another little rock side to side, and then we're going to do the same with the right leg. So lift up your right leg, point your toes, really use your muscles at the top of your thigh and your glutes to lift that leg. And then heel away from you, press your heel away, then point your toes. So we're flexing and pointing our ankle whilst maintaining that lift. And then do some circles one way and some circles the other. And then let that leg come down. Okay, gentle little rock again from side to side. And then just let all that lower half of your body really connect with the floor. And we're going to use that connection to help us as we come up into a back bend. So if you bring your arms by your shoulders, sorry, bring your hands by your shoulders with your fingers spread, elbows in, and then breathe in and lift into a cobra. Breathe out and go back down again. So get that connection with your legs again, get that strength, that connection to the floor, that pushing into the floor. And use that to support you as you lift, as you breathe into your cobra. And then come back down again. Tuck your toes under. And take yourself back to a child's pose with your toes tucked under. A couple of lovely deep breaths in your child's pose. Like we did before. So a lovely breath in through your nose. And a big sigh out. One more big breath in through your nose. Sigh it all out. Let go of anything you don't need. And then we're going to come up into a down dog. 
but we're going to just hover your knees first. So take your fingers forward, spread your fingers, tuck your toes under, hover your knees, and then come up into your down dog. Pedal out your down dog, so bend your left knee, then your right knee. Now then we're going to move in a little circle in a down dog. So what we're going to do, if you just come to stillness for a moment, just get yourself nice and happy in your down dog, nice and long in your body, high in your hips. And then we're going to come forward to plank as we breathe in. We're going to take your knees down, but hover them above the floor. And then we're going to take your bottom back, and then we're going to come back up into down dog. So that's the pattern, so forward to plank, down, hover your knees, take your bottom back, back up into your down dog. So breathe in, breathe in as you come forward to plank, and out as you go back. Back into your down dog, pedal it out again, and then take some little nice steps up towards the top of your mat. Okay, and what we're going to do, we're going to come up onto our tiptoes and then we're going to bring your bottom down towards the heels and we're going to come up and rest on our toes, really stretch out those feet and think about another important aspect of our balance, finding our drishti. So find a little point that you can rest your gaze on Lengthen through your body, engage your core, pull everything into the midline. Find your drishti. Let your balance happen. Let the wobble happen. Ooh, let the wobble happen. Lovely. And then hands back down. So if you've already got your toes and the balls of your feet down, really nice and connected. So get the rest of your feet down with your knees really, really bent. And then just have a little pedal, just like we're doing downward dog, just to release your legs a little bit. Okay, then hang upside down, grab opposite elbows, and have a little rock from side to side. Okay, so go back to your feet now. Really feel that connection with the earth. So really press down, feel like your feet are really spreading into the ground, and then use that connection from the earth almost like it's a spring to slowly lift as you uncurl and come up to standing. Oh that's so nice. So we're just going to stand for a moment and we're just going to connect with ourselves again in Tadasana. So just connect with your feet again. See if you're happy with the way you've placed your feet. If not, just shuffle around, have a little wiggle, have a little bit of movement, spread everything out. And then when you're happy, lift up through your legs, lift up through your front body, lengthen through your lower back, lengthen through the sides of your body, relax your shoulders and close your eyes. And just face your palms forward and just gently let your fingers open out, just gently. Just take a moment to just feel really grounded. Maybe noticing that even just standing like this is a little bit of wobble, but that's okay. You can still feel grounded with the wobble going on. You can allow the wobble, but feel the connection. Feel the length, feel the confidence in yourselves, lovely and open your eyes, raise your arms all the way up into the air and have a lovely big stretch. And then bring your arms back down again. Okay, so what we're going to do now, we're going to start to transfer a balance onto one foot and see how that feels. So first of all, if you transfer your weight into your right foot, start to lift your left leg, bend your knee, and just notice how your balance is today. So find your drishti, find that length, that 
upward lift from the ground, that connection, nice and good connection with your foot like it's a tyre. Okay, beautiful. And then what we're going to do, we're going to put our hands on a hip so you can have them out to the side. And we're going to take her body, keep her body nice and long. Take her body forward and her leg back. So we're going to keep her knee bent. Body forward, so your leg and your body are kind of counterbalancing each other. Doesn't matter if, you let, if your right knee bends a little bit, that's fine. Nice long body. And then back again. A couple more times. Body forward. Leg back, knee bent. And then back and bring your knee up. And one last time. Lengthen through your heart, lengthen through your body. Leg back and back to the middle. Okay, so we're going to try that on the other leg now. So, if you spread out your toes, really connect with the ground, with your heel, the balls of your feet, with your left foot, and then we're going to lift the right leg. Notice how it feels to be balancing on our left leg today. Keep that length, keep that drishti. And then, body forward, leg back to counterbalance. Lengthen your body. Just play around with it, notice how it feels. You will wobble, that's absolutely fine. Come back again. And then, body forward, leg back, but you need bent for counterbalance. And one more time. Up we come. Nice and mindfully. And then bring yourself down. Okay, beautiful. So, we're just going to take it a little bit further now on each leg. And we're going to try and straighten your leg out. So, kind of working more towards a warrior three kind of a T shape where your body and your leg straight and then another leg's coming down. But we're not going that far, just working a little bit. So, right foot again. We're going to ground through the right foot. Feel the lift. Lift your left leg. Ooh, hands on your hips or wherever you want them to be. And then body forward, leg back with the knee bent. And then we're going to straighten that left leg. Doesn't matter if we straighten it a bit or all the way. Push your heel away. See how that feels. Check your hips are level. And then bend your right knee, float your left leg back. Okay, bring your leg back. Just a little jiggle, a little wiggle. Kick and loosen everything out. And then we'll do it on the other side. So. Balancing on your left foot, your left leg even, <laughs> and lifting your right leg. So let's start to go back, body forward, leg back, and then straighten out that right leg, push the heel away, keep your hips level, keep lengthening your body. See how that feels, can you maybe go a bit further? And then bend your left knee, float your right leg back. Okay, bring it together. And we're going to go back down to the ground. So, if you bend your knees, trace your hands down in front of your legs, down and onto the ground, just let everything hang loose, roll around a little bit from side to side. And I'm just going to come to straight flat back because that might help us with our posture. So, bring your hands up your legs, lovely straight back, straight legs, keep breathing. Bend your knees, back down you go, and then keep your knees bent, we're going to come up into a chair. So come up into chair, and then take your chair down, stick your bottom as far back as you can, and then go all the way down, so your body is nice and level, and your arms are stretching out in front of you. Nice straight back. Okay, bring yourself all the way down to the ground, and it back on your heels and we'll just go back into child's pose for a minute so just get your legs at a comfortable width and bring your body down and rest in child's pose ready to bring yourself back out your child's pose and we're just going to come up by your downward dog. 
So if you put your hands, spread your hands, spread your fingers, tuck your toes under, come up into your downward dog, maybe another little pedal or you can hold it still, whichever you prefer, maybe a little shake of your neck. And then we're just going to do another plank, just going to get a real sense of length and straightness in your body. So bring yourself forward to a high plank, press away from the floor, push your heels away, keep your neck nice and long, keep breathing and really get that sense of that length and that plankness of your body, that long body all in one line. Keep breathing. Back to your down dog, and then slowly walk forwards, bend your knees, little wriggle, little rock, and uncurl, and bring yourself up to standing. Just take a moment here, a couple of breaths, and then get your chair. So. If you just have your chair kind of by the edge of your mat or just on the corner of your mat so you've got plenty of room. And what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to try out uh, Warrior 3 now but holding onto the chair so we can focus more on a standing leg and the leg that we're raising um, and then the chair's there to support her upper body a little bit more. So, you stand, stand back, you could just do a little bit of um, kind of leaning forward and see where your arms go to and it'll kind of give you an idea where you think you might want your chair to be. So just find a good distance for your chair, it's going to be a little bit playing around with this but just see if you can find a good distance. And then we'll start off, we'll ground into a right foot and we'll lift a left foot. So just like any balance before we start, let's just take a moment. Feel the ground, feel the lift, feel the core connection, feel the length in your body, drishti, mind and body ready for a balance. Okay, and then take your weight into your right foot, lift your left toes, and then with your leg bent, start to take it back, take your body forward. And then take your leg out straight, stretch your heel away, put your hands onto your chair. And then you can see how the lift feels in your leg. You can keep that knee bent a little bit, careful not to lock it out. Keep your core engaged, keep that length in the front of your body, keep your heart opening. Nice straight back, you can push your heel away or you can point your toes. Really important that you're not lifting your hip on this left side, so check your nice and straight across your hips. And if you're down there, that's absolutely fine. Okay, I'm just playing around with it. And then bend your right knee, bring your left leg back, and bring yourself back up again. I might just move a little bit because my head seems to be in the way. Okay, so we're going to try on the other side now. So See if you thought that your distance was okay, if not just adjust it a little bit. And then we're going to ground through your left foot. Find a balance, find a focus. Bend your right knee. And then start to take your right leg back with your knee bent. Body forward. Little micro bend in your left knee. Take your arms out to support you to your chair. And then straighten out that right leg. Press your heel away. Point your foot, see which you prefer. Check your hips are nice and level. You can even push your chair away a little bit. You can just play around with it. You can put your hands against the wall. So check that evenness. Like I need to bring my right hip down and lift my left hip. So it's a nice way to practice because you're not having, and I need to just micro bend my left knee as well. Okay, so micro bend your left knee big bend in your left knee and bring yourself down and come up again. So it's very much, it's just, oh, I think Warrior 3 is a bit like learning to drive. It's like so much to think about at first and it really doesn't matter. We're going to have another little goal now. You can use the chair again or alternatively you can try it without. And if you try it without, if you literally have your foot on the floor, that's fine or lift it a bit. So have your chair there handy anyway in case you want to use it. But if you want to try without your chair, we'll have another goal. So bring yourself back, get yourself focused, get yourself ready. 
lift your left leg, weight onto your right leg, keep your knee soft, and then body forward, nice long heart forward, hands on hips out wherever you want them to be, straighten out that left leg, push your heel away, keep your hips level, your chair's there in case you need it, it doesn't matter how far you go, and just play around with it and see what happens. Use anything you need for support, whoopsie daisy. And bring yourself down. Keep breathing, breathing so important. And then bring yourself out. Okay, so try on the other side now. That will not try on the other side because we'll have moments. It's amazing how much energy it takes to do this. So let's just be still for a moment. Sometimes in our practice when we're flowing a little bit more, it's kind of easier to do the postures. When we really break them down and do them slowly, it's more challenging. And when we're doing that, when we're really thinking about everything we're doing step by step, little breaks can really help just gather yourself get yourself mentally ready okay so left foot connected with the floor nice good connection with your foot lift your right leg a little bit then start to take body forward leg back hands on hips hands out or hands at prayer whichever you prefer chair there if you need it then start to straighten out that right leg Push your heel away, use all those muscles at the top of your leg that you've been working on to help you. Down you come, keep breathing, hold on to what you need for support, check your hips, lift your leg and then bend your left leg and bring yourself down. Okay, so just have a little kick out. So it's definitely it's one to work on, one to play around with, but really important to make sure you've warmed yourself up for it. Okay, so I hope that's been a good introduction. Play around with it when you can, and we'll start to introduce it more and more into the classes that we do. Okay, so we're just going to bring ourselves back down to the ground, and we're going to lie down on the back. I think we deserve it after doing that. So we're going to lie down on the back. We're going to hug your knees into a chest and we're going to have a lovely rock from side to side and release the lower back. And then pull in your right knee, stretch out your left leg and let it rest on the floor. So we don't really need to stretch your foot out, stretch your heel out now, just let it rest. Pull your right leg in. And then swap, so pull your left knee towards you, right leg out, let it rest on the floor. A little bit of happy baby. So if you take your left leg up and your right leg, you can hold on to your feet or you can hold on to the back of your calves, whatever works for you. Just ease everything out. Keep breathing and then feet to the floor, arms out to the side. So you can either have your arms straight if you've got room or you can whoops a daisy, open up the elbows if you need to. Feet together, knees together, let your knees go down to the right and look over to the left. Really slowing everything down. Nothing bothering us, even the barking dog. Slowing down your breath. Bringing your knees back up. Taking them over to the left, taking your head over to the right, or keeping it wherever it's comfortable. Noticing the effect of your practice on your body and your mind. Bring yourself back up to the middle, stretch out your legs, 
Bring your arms by your side. And now really, really, really let go into the ground. Let it support you. You've worked hard. You've challenged yourself. You've listened to your body. Now it's time to just relax. Just letting all the benefits of your practice seep into every cell of your body. And slow your mind. breath be really lovely and even. Let the back of your body really be heavy and relax. Let it sink all the way into your mat or all the way into the ground. And just let go. Just listening to the music, taking as long as you wish in your Shavasana. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for joining.